Steve Ferrano here for Ask a Real Expert. I was checking through my questions and somebody asked about starvation mode. Hey Steve, what do I do when my body goes into starvation mode? Well, you know, I just had a conversation with a young lady at the gym who was or is getting ready for one of these fitness bathing suit competitions in five weeks. And I was talking to her and I said, well, hey, you know, what are you eating? She goes, well, I eat six meals a day. And basically most of her meals were some type of meat and fruits and vegetables. I said, well, how many calories is that? She goes, oh, I, I don't know. And I'm like, you don't know how many calories you're eating and you're trying to lose weight? Okay, fire your personal trainer. So then I said, uh, you know, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing cardio six days a week for an hour. Perfect. And you're having six meals a day? Okay. And then you're training, weight training, four or five times a week? Okay. Then she said, you know, so I have to lose a pound a week for the next five weeks to get ready for the show. I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. She goes, yeah, but I got to make sure I don't skip my cheat meal. Um, I asked her, well, why is that? Well, because, you know, my personal trainer says my metabolism will slow down. And I'm like, didn't you just tell me you're eating six meals a day and all those meals contain some type of protein, which requires a lot of calories for digestion? And then I'm thinking, you think eating a slice of pizza one time a week that contains 300 calories and probably 50% fat is going to speed up your metabolism? Really? You actually believe that? Remember, when you eat fat, there's no conversion rate. Fat is fat. Fat gets stored as fat very quickly if it's not utilized. At least carbohydrates and proteins have to be broken down, and that utilizes calories. I told her, cardio, activity is speeding up your metabolism. Only people who are emaciated, people who are on deserted islands, people who are stuck on a life raft for two or three months. Yes, their metabolism has slowed down in order to save their lives. Yes, your metabolism will slow down when you are severely limiting your caloric intake and you're not doing anything like being on a life raft or a deserted island hoping you're rescued. But when you're doing tons of cardio and when you're working out, that is speeding up your metabolism. If you think eating is speeding up your metabolism or is going to help you lose weight, you are sadly mistaken and you should fire your personal trainer. Remember, when you're a bodybuilder, let's think in terms of guys who were on an island or a life raft, a bodybuilder getting ready for a show like this young lady is limiting her caloric intake. Not severely, we're not talking about 400 calories a day from grubs and grass. We're talking about a pretty decent amount of calories, but you know, enough for her to lose weight. So when you're a bodybuilder training for a show or a fitness show or a uh, bathing suit show, you're still eating five and six times a day, and that's supposedly supposed to keep your metabolism going. But the fact that you're doing cardio and you're working out that is designed to burn those last few calories. That is designed to force your body to utilize additional fat. So if this young lady was so worried about losing a pound a week for the next five weeks, she should have cut out her cheat calorie, regardless of what her personal trainer said. So these are some of the myths that people just believe and they continue to get perpetuated. And this is why people who are trying to lose weight and they're going, yeah, but I'm eating 19 meals a day and I got a protein shake uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and when I get up in the middle of the night to take a pee, I'm just, you know, I don't know why I'm not losing any weight. Because again, it's these kind of myths that get perpetuated that screw people up who are trying to lose weight. The average person out there, 99.9% .9 of people out there, not bodybuilders, not professionals, not people who are anorexic, not the average person who's trying to lose weight, their metabolism is, metabolism is not going to slow down if they de decrease their caloric intake. You know what's going to happen? They're going to lose weight effectively. And like I said, only when you decrease your caloric intake significantly and you decrease your body fat levels significantly and your activity levels are very minimal, then your body decreases or the metabolism slows down and then you catabolize muscle. 
But really, for the average person, 99% of us, you got nothing to worry about. I'm Steve Tarano. If you have a question, email me through YouTube at Ask a Real Expert. Train smart, train hard.